The first report helped me a lot realizing that you've been investigating, and you've been working across the country, so it's not just here. And the I-Team is hearing from more people on Social Security because the government said it paid them too much money. Last week, News Center 7 first reported on our year-long investigation. And the Social Security Administration said it paid out more than $20 billion to people who should not have gotten that money. It wants it back. The I-Team's John Bedell looks at how this is impacting people right here in the Miami Valley. In South Montgomery County, Kara Kendall is on Social Security Disability Insurance. It's her only source of health insurance, and she calls the money a significant chunk of what comes into the family's bank account every month. It's about a half to a third. But at the end of 2020, it was an overpayment notice from the Social Security Administration that came in the mail. The government said they'd overpaid her more than $17,000. What did you first think when you saw that? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> um, I was angry, honestly. To get that money back, the agency is now reducing her monthly checks. Kara reached out to me after the I-Team's original report where we talked to people across the country dealing with this overpayment outrage. I was relieved somebody was looking into it. Our investigation found SSA audits show Americans repay between four and five billion dollars in overpayments each year. But the grand total of overpayments the agency still has not recovered is more than 21 billion. These two longtime Social Security workers who lead their employee union say critically low staffing levels mean it can be several years before workers reassess people's cases and catch overpayments and even longer to send out the overpayment letters. We take an oath to be stewards of the trust fund. So um, unfortunately, we do have to collect overpayments or attempt to collect overpayments when somebody from the public has been overpaid. But the people we've talked to say they're upset. So many American families, just like theirs, are now stuck with bills they can't afford. Then hire the people you need to keep from taking away from people that don't have to start with. I think it's excuses. Um, because when they sent me over payments, they said it went back all the way to 2007. So you can't tell me in 15 years they didn't figure it out before that. Well, I guess 13 from 20. The I team's John Bedell joins us now. John, people facing this problem turned to you for help, and you in turn reached out to our elected leaders. We did, Cheryl, because four people, including Kara, who you just heard from, have reached out to me since our original report. We're working to tell their stories. We've also reached out to our federal lawmakers, first of all, showing them what our investigation mm -hmm. has uncovered here, and also pressing them for answers about what they're doing to fix this, because some of them, including two from here in Ohio, have SSA oversight roles in their roles in Congress. So. We've been working this investigation for more than a year, and I can promise you we are not finished with this, James and Cheryl. I know you're hearing from a lot of people on yeah. this. All right, John, we'll check back with you as you get new information on this year-long investigation. Thank you. And, of course, folks, if you have a story our I-Team should look into, here's the number you need to call, 937-535-7777. Be sure to leave us a message.